uh, excited about going into Cameron for your first time? Yes, uh, I'm playing against my old teammate and things like that. And um, it's, it's going to be a great environment, great, great team and stuff like that. So it's going to be very competitive and I'm um, looking forward to it. Have you kept up with him during the season? Definitely. We keep in contact all the time. We talk to each other and things like that. So uh, it's going to be a big game for us. Are you talking, talking any trash to you? Yet? Yeah, a little bit. You know, <laughs> we're both talking trash and things like that. We both, our teams, we want to win. So we're both competitive. Has Coach kind of been pushing the message that, you know, don't take these, don't like be intimidated by them. They're but they're short time, you know, same way everyone else. Oh, like definitely. Everybody, I mean, everybody like that way. Everybody puts on their shorts the same way we do, and everybody plays like, breathe the same air we breathe, and bleed the same way we bleed. So, I mean, we got to go in there like, like any other team. We just want to compete and, and play at the highest level. So, we want to play our game, go to take basketball, and things like that. What can you tell us about our game? Is he uh, I mean, he's a great player. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be, they got to get a lot of great players on their team. So, we do too as well. So, it's going to be a really good game. Did you play against Zion at all in AAU? Or? Uh, I did in um, AAU and things like that. Um, growing up playing against him too as well. So yeah. it's crazy seeing those guys blowing up like that. So right. it's pretty cool. What do you remember about what do you remember about playing him? And just what he was like? I mean, he's always been a great player and things like that. He knows the game very well and he's very athletic and uh, he's just a beast down there. What do you feel like you guys need to do in particular? To uh, whatever coaching has on, on, on their um, play style and things like that and how they want us to compete and how they want us to defend. So, I mean, we have a lot of things for them and um, I think they're going to be shocked on the things that we do against the and things like that. So, Coach talks about you know wanting to rely on you to rebound the ball. Is that something that's in your head while you're out there? Yes, sir. I mean, I always want to go in there and grab a lot of boards and things like that and compete and defend and get steals and all that things like that because then that translates to my offense so it makes it things a lot easier. Was the Notre Dame game the best game you played this season? Uh, I mean, I played a lot of great games this year. I mean, not, not just scoring-wise, but defensive-wise right. as well. So, I mean, um, that's one of the games that I've had this year as well. Looking back at the um, Louisville game, how do you think you learned that you're not being quite able to take your best? Uh, it, it was a rough game for all of us. Um, you were missing a couple of players and things like that, so I kind of threw us off. And um, I mean, it was, it was they were they were a tough team too as well. I mean, they were hitting a lot of shots, and um, we were trying to defend as well. So, I mean, they were making good plays, and um, it was just it was just a hard, tough game like that. So, I mean, we were bouncing back though from it. For you personally, when you have not having Jose against Louisville and then having him, what does he kind of do for your game personally? That that kind of um, where you all are able to play off each other. Uh, we just feed off each other's energy and things like that. Um, he plays really good off the ball and things like that. So me to be able to make plays for him and him also to make plays for me and things like that. So him being able to score and things like that opens up the lane for me and then be able to create and things like that. So I think we both like, contribute well to each other. So. Is Cameron a place in Jose or something? Is he going to grow up watching on TV? I mean, I mean dreaming like growing up, man, uh, my favorite team was Duke. So oh, I mean, really? Yeah, yeah, So, I mean, growing up like that, watching them play, you always want to play in that type of environment, in that type of place. So, I mean, it's just a historic place. So definitely want to go in there, compete, and, and uh, play at the highest level. Any butterflies? Mm, I mean, kind of every game, you kind of have a little butterflies. In the, but I, I would think it's like, hey, you're anxious to play. And you just want to compete so, so much. So, I mean, I just feel like I'm ready for it and um, I'm working too hard for it. So it seems like that. Is there any concern, like kind of given what you're saying, and most of you guys haven't been there because last year they didn't go there, that like even for the first couple minutes there might be a sense of like, wow, I'm actually here and yeah. not being that he's locked in? Or, Definitely. I mean, um, we, we got to think of this as a, just another team in the ACC. Right. So we got to come in there and we got to play right like we've always played and um, don't think of them as any other team and just go in there and, and play. So.